Good morning, students. Welcome to the class. I am Sreen Gulati, your English teacher from Takshila Model School. Today, we are going to learn Chapter Two: Countable and Uncountable Noun. So, take out your books, take out Chapter Two from your grammar book, and let's start with me. Okay, class. Chapter Two: Nouns, Countable and Uncountable Noun. Okay. So, countable nouns. What are the countable nouns? Right? You have already done in your previous classes also. Right? What are the countable nouns? Countable nouns. The nouns which you can count are called countable nouns. We can put a number before them. So, the nouns. Which you can count are called countable nouns, right? And we can put a number before the countable nouns. For example, two tables, four chairs, one fridge, two lamps, right? So here we can see that tables. We can count the tables. So two tables, chairs. We can count the chairs. Four chairs, fridge. We can count the fridge. One fridge, lamps, two lamps. So all these are countable nouns, right? Now, countable nouns. They have singular and plural forms. So countable nouns have singular and plural forms. Singular means one. Plural means more than one, right? So when we talk about one thing, one noun. It is called as singular noun. When we talk about more than one thing, it is called as a plural noun, right? Okay. They answer the question how many. When we talk about countable nouns, they answer the question how many. For example, yes, we take the same example, two tables. So, like, how many tables? How many lamps? How many chairs? How many fridge? Right? Okay. Come to the singular and plural. Singular. One table. We have put the number one here. As we have already discussed that with countable nouns, we put numbers. Right? And plurals, four tables. So when we talk about more than one table, right? So it becomes plural. Four tables. Now, for example, there is one fridge in the room. So, one fridge. There are four chairs. So, here it is chairs. Right? Plural. So, it is a plural. One more thing. Always remember, when we change singular noun into the plural form, we also change the verbs. You can see here. Here it is is, here it is are. When we talk about one thing, we have used the is form of the verb, and when we talk about the plural form, we have used are. Right? So that is the most important thing you have to remember when you change the singular noun into plural. You have to change the verb according to the noun. Okay. Thanks. Uncountable nouns. Now. What are the uncountable nouns? By the name itself, you can easily identify that what is uncountable nouns, right? So, the nouns which we cannot count are called uncountable nouns. So, the nouns which we cannot count, these are called uncountable nouns. We cannot put a number. Before the uncountable nouns, we cannot put a number as we can put a number before countable nouns. Okay. They have no plural forms. So, uncountable nouns do not have plural forms. For example, furniture, paper. Furniture, yes. So, furniture is what? Uncountable noun. Paper, uncountable noun. K 
can you count the furniture no we cannot count the furniture can you count the paper no you will say that yes ma'am we can count the papers but no we cannot count the papers we can count the pages right we count the pages but not the papers as you are talking about the furniture so you cannot count the furniture you can count the beds chairs sofa tables right so you can count the chairs tables sofa bed but not the furniture so these are known as uncountable nouns okay they do not have plural forms as the countable nouns have plural forms but uncountable nouns do not have plural forms okay let's take example water some water a little water much water there is some water in the jug there is little water in the glass so we cannot say there is one water we cannot say there is two water so what do we say there is some water there is little water there is much water in the jug or glass class we don't use a and before uncountable nouns as we know that a or n a or n means one so one means we can count one thing but with uncountable nouns we cannot use a or n okay we use major verbs or counters to count the uncountable nouns so if we have to count the uncountable nouns anyhow we how we can measure right so there are some particular words which we call the major words or counters to count the uncountable nouns right so ab dobara karo isko video banao two pieces of furniture one glass of water two bars of soap so these pieces glass bars are called as major words right but when we use these may when we use these major words with uncountable noun these are known as counters or major word but generally piece glass bars are countable nouns so generally these words are the countable nouns but when we use these words before the uncountable noun it is major words we use such words to measure or count the quantity of an uncountable noun so we use these words to measure the uncountable noun clear okay let's take one more example 1 kg sugar 1 liter milk so children with sugar with milk what do we use we use other counters we use other words so 1 kg 1 liter right to measure the uncountable noun i hope this topic is clear to you and you enjoy thank you